What if you could make your 30 FPS feel like 60 or even 90 or 120 FPS on a handheld device? Well, with lossless scaling 3.1, you can. And we're going to test this with the MS Claw 8 today. So where can you get it and install it from? So you can grab it from Steam, just search Luster Scaling, and it is a one-time purchase and takes seconds to install. In terms of the recent pricing, it's around just under six pounds UK price, and I think six, seven dollars. So let's talk about the setup and configuration. So let's install this into our drive. And once installed, let's open it up and a couple of setups that's really important to get the best out of this application. So once installed, let's click on the little plug here, click properties. And what you want to do is make sure you go into beta and you click on beta participation. And, that, and that's really important because when you do launch the application now, what you'll be greeted with is the latest settings for lossless which is 3.1 so once launch you should be greeted with a similar screen like this you should see lossless scaling 3.2 and if you install the right beta you'll see the option for 3.1 paint generation yeah but before we actually start playing around with any of this and i'll briefly explain this let's go into the settings so a couple of things you want to do you want to make sure that it starts as an administrator Starts when Windows starts and you minimize to tray and close the tray. And the reason you do this is because you just want to make sure that it's loaded up and ready to go as soon as you want to start gaming. Yeah. And the other thing is uh, make sure you have your hotkey set up. Yeah. So that's important. That stops you from uh, doing the manual in and out. And I'll explain that when you actually play the game. The application's kind of broken up into two different areas. Yeah. So the first say, is frame generation, which I typically use, and also um, there's a scaling option as well. Um, but most games nowadays, uh, especially in the newer games, have their own internal scaling, like AMD's FSR, NVIDIA's uh, DLLS, and uh, Intel's XESS. Yeah, so I, I tend not to use this here or, or really use this. Um, so we're going to concentrate mostly on the frame generation side here. So what you really want to do is first of all enable 3.1 you want to then do fix so there's two types of mod there's fixed and adaptive and we'll quickly look at that so fixed is basically saying that whatever fps you're getting while running the game you want to multiply that by two so if the game's running a base of 30 so times two you're going to uh, generate uh, another additional uh, 30 fps uh, so you'll see 60 in total yeah in theory if you multiply that by three so instead of 60, you'll now get 90. Vice versa, if you had a base of 40 times 3 is 120. So for handheld gaming, I recommend setting the flow to around 60. It helps to make the motion look smoother by filling in the gaps between frames, like turning choppy movements into a smooth glide. Perfect for games locked around 30 or 40 FPS, which we're kind of aiming for. So that's it for setting up the application. Let's now go over to a game and get it working. So I'm currently just in game on Elden Ring. And if I look at my settings, you can see that I'm running at borderless, uh, 1200p and uh, medium settings. And the key thing for that's the scaling to work. You need to be in windowed or borderless mode, yeah? So if I just go around, I just run around, you can see um, my FPS is hovering around the 40 to 50, yeah? Yes. So it does drop to 50, uh, 40 at times. So, yeah. So if I just go back. And uh, we're just going to activate lossless scaling. So uh, two ways to activate. Yeah, I'll show you the, the first way, the, the one that most people use. So if you just get out, go into the app itself. You hit scale and you have five seconds to go back to the actual window that you want lossless scaling to be activated. And you'll see a little glitch. 
and there you go that's activated so I'm running at times three and you can see that it's activated because you see a little um, FPS score with the original FPS and the FPS that it's now rendering at and you can see now obviously it's hard once it's uploaded at YouTube but for me the gameplay has gone a lot smoother yeah a lot smoother and because my um, previous FPS was around 40 to 50 I am nearly hitting the 120 FPS here. So the second way of activating uh, Lost Lascalian and something I personally do and uh, I find a lot easier is using uh, the hotkey combination using the application known as Handheld Companion. So I'm just going to load that up. So this is what it looks like in the hotkey section. Remember we talked about the shortcut. So if you enable that, now I use my combination. So at the moment you can see it's running at 40, 50 FPS, not running. Run my combination and you can go bam. There you go. I don't have to go out, minimize it. So um thanks for watching. Don't forget uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Yeah, and if you like these kind of how to videos, um drop me a comment and let me know what you want to see next.